Hello and welcome to the ninth episode of my Call of Duty Ghosts Weapon Guide. In this episode, the Remington R5, an American rifle with an advanced gas piston operated internal action. The Remington's damage is high, in a similar tier to the AK-12. You'll kill in three shots up close, or two where one is a headshot. At a distance you may need up to five shots to kill however, although this is only at an extreme range. Although unlikely, landing headshots at this distance will yield a four shot kill instead. Rate of fire is the lowest of all automatic weapons in the assault rifle category, at just 638 rounds per minute. This does help the stability of long range automatic fire, but can make consistent close range performance troublesome. Hip fire spread is on par with most of the other assault rifles, but the slow rate of fire may mean your enemy will be afforded sufficient time to retaliate during your attempts at unnamed fire. Recoil is rather mild, courtesy of the slower rate of fire. Even fully automatic fire can be used to some effect across the longer sightlines. Aim time is standard for the Remington's class at 300 milliseconds, and you'll move at 90% of the base speed. However, magazine capacity is unusually low for an assault rifle, at just 24 rounds between reloads. Extended mags will take this to 36 rounds instead. Although the slower rate of fire helps ameliorate this issue, reloads may still be frequent. Although the good news is the Remington boasts the fastest resupplies in class, at just 2.46 seconds. With this weapon, mid to long range sightlines are your friend. With stable automatic fire and high per shot damage, the Remington can reach out far and shut down fast. Extended mags is an essential addition that helps to address one key weakness by granting 50% extra per reload. While reloads are quick and the rate of fire slow, the default 24 rounds can run out at the most inopportune moment. Pair this with an optic of your choice. While these sights don't confer any statistical advantage, the clearer sight picture can enhance your performance by making it easier to aim. The red dot and holographic are the most easy to use options, but it can also be worth considering the more advanced optics. The VMR sight offers two zoom levels that are easy to switch between, and the thermal sight is similar with a white hot twist. If you'd like to specialize in a longer ranged roll, the ACOG might be the best choice. Ultimately, it comes down to the scale of the map you're playing on and your own personal preference. For your perks, focus is a very sensible choice, helping to keep you on target without incoming fire knocking you off your mark. The reduction in idle sway can be a boon when tackling targets at a distance too. It's also a good idea to equip fully loaded, as the starting ammunition supply is lower than the other assault rifles, and you'll otherwise find yourself running out prematurely. The Remington's close range performance can be lacking, so it can be wise to invest in either a secondary weapon or perks to alleviate this. Quick draw will speed your aim reaction times, better allowing you to get onto target quickly. Or, if you prefer to keep your sights up at all times, Stalker will let you move more rapidly while aiming. In general, you should seek to avoid close range combat, however. You'll perform best with this weapon while firing over mid range sightlines from a safe position. The Remington R5 is a stable and powerful platform that is capable of effectively eliminating your opponents with accurate automatic fire. Its low recoil means you can accurately place shot after shot on your intended mark, even across the longer sightlines. Paired with its high damage, you can cut through cover more easily and otherwise quickly dispatch any enemy with well-placed fire. One major downside is the slower cyclic rate. While this does help with regards to accuracy, you might find time to kill is slow at times. This is particularly noticeable at a close range, where a faster firing weapon will have plenty of time to spray you down while the Remington slowly discharges from its small magazine. Still, as long as you keep your opponent at an arm's reach and anticipate enemy assaults, the R5 will perform admirably. When it comes to avoiding a close shave, the Remington is a cut above. Thank you very much for watching, and join me next time when I'll be covering the K7. Until then, farewell.